You don't have to travel too far from Eden Hall Farm to find cattle grazing the rolling hills of Marshall Township, nestled in between Cranberry Township and Warrendale. The 180-acre ranch is home to herds of cattle and pigs. They spend their lives grazing naturally on a pesticide-free range, and they're never given antibiotics, hormones, or any other synthetic inputs. Northwoods Ranch is the brainchild of Oliver Griswold, who came to ranching with the perfect background in mechanical and aeronautical engineering. Welcome. Good to have you. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. <laughs> Got to ask you about the personal journey. How does an engineer wind up running a cattle ranch in northern Allegheny County, Pennsylvania? Well, that's a great question, and uh, I think it's a very logical follow-through. Ever since I was a kid, I've been fascinated by nature and really enjoyed the outdoors and animals. And when I got to high school and college, I was absolutely enthralled with technology. And technology is going to solve all the problems. And in fact, way back when, as an aeronautical engineer, I designed a crop duster to apply pesticides to monocrops. So you're doing the traditional kind of, supporting the traditional kind of farming. Yeah, yeah. This is many right? decades ago okay, at this sure. point. But yeah. I firmly believe that we did need all these pesticides and we did need the chemical fertilizers to grow enough food to feed the world. There's a whole green revolution that's exactly. been going on over decades. Exactly. Right? And I had recently lost my mother to a host of illnesses and my father was descending into dementia. And I started asking myself, what's going on with, with the food supply in the country? And that started me questioning. And so I broadened my scope of reading and read The Omnivore's Dilemma by Michael Pollan. And in that, he devotes an entire section to a fascinating farm down in Virginia, a polyface farm okay. run by Joel Salton, a fourth generation farmer whose family never accepted the, the modern paradigm that you needed to have these uh, chemical um, uh, assistance to raise food mm -hmm. and he practiced a concept called vertical stacking where you run d different animals over the same land huh. and you can wind up throwing off more nutrition per acre than the best confinement operations or the best monocrops in the world really and, and this is all without the use of the chemicals w huh. without the pesticides and in a manner that's much more humane to the animals that allows the animals to do what they're born to do and what they're really good at doing and is also great for the environment. Uh, instead of having uh, toxic runoff from manure lagoons and confinement operations, the land is matched to the animal. There are not more animals than the land can handle. So what we're doing at Northwoods Ranch is we're applying these principles in running our cattle on the land much as nature does. If you think about the bison herds out in the Midwest and they're ranging up and down the Great Plains, the animals are always moving forward. They're moving forward to fresh pasture. And, and that's what we do on ranch. Every day we move our cattle to a fresh piece of pasture. And the way that works is I show up and we use very lightweight electrical fencing with step-in fiberglass posts. And I look at what they did the previous day and then run out a new paddock for them to go into. Okay. At this point, the 50 head of cattle are all standing at the line looking at me. And if I'm moving too slowly, they start mooing and making noise. Because the grass is always greener on the, the other side of your wire. Because the grass is greener, okay? <laughs> right. And they know the routine. They know what's going on. Okay. And once I'm done running my fence, I come back and I take that reel of line that's separating them from the new paddock and I reel it back 10 feet. They just start streaming through. And all the mooing goes away and all the heads go down and they start grazing. And all you hear is the cropping of the grasses and the clovers as they uh, snag chunks off. You got cows and pigs. What kind of cattle and what kind of uh, what kind of pigs? Uh, the cattle are Scottish Longhorn cattle, yeah. or Scottish Highland cattle, rather. And, uh, they have longer horns, though. They do yeah. have long horns. They're calling the pigs? And the pigs are a heritage breed. They're a very old world breed. They're Berkshire pigs. And they're very good tasting pigs, but they're also very well suited for our climbs. All these animals are out year round, and they can very easily yeah, handle our winters. Um, and, and the pigs will root through snow and the cattle will graze through snow in the winter. Uh, last year we got to January on pasture, moving the cattle every day uh, before we went into our winter hay. 
<laughs> so the cows are having a great time, as you say, doing what animals do. Yep. I, I presume it's good for the soil because they're grazing and there's manure going on the soil and all the rest of it. Right. Gets to the point, though, you gotta uh, you got to sell the meat. And uh, how are you retailing this right now? We send an email out weekly uh, to our customer list. And folks send their orders back via email, which we then fulfill, and they come to our ranch to pick up their orders. We also do some delivery down to the downtown area, and we also sell through farmer's markets in the summer, in the farmer market season. Hard to believe it's happening so close to the city of Pittsburgh. If people want to find out more and, 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 and maybe try it out, how do they find you? Uh, best way is to go to our website, and uh, I, all our contact information is on there. You can sign up for our uh, weekly emails there. Uh, but also give us a give us a call, uh, send us an email. We're always happy to chat with people and uh, talk about what we do. Well, that's really cool. Congratulations! Uh, we'll check it out. Uh, Northwoods Ranch, Oliver. Thank you so much. All Appreciate right, thank it. you very much. Yeah. Next up, we visit another local farm. This one in the heart of the city of Pittsburgh. Stay with us.